Taichung today renewed the license of Taichung Power Plant's coal-fired units, despite criticism of its continuing emission of pollutants. For the first time in the plant's 30-year history, it has been ordered to cut down its resource usage and emissions. Now it must reduce coal usage by 5 million tons a year, and air pollution emissions must also drop by 24 percent a year. Taichung Power Plant's application to extend the licenses of nine of its coal-fired generators has finally been approved. The overall coal quota for the 10 units has been fixed. Coal usage must be reduced by 5 million tons a year from 21 million tons to 16 million tons a year. Taichung city government has told the plant it must cut its coal usage, as well as its emission of pollutants, by 24 percent each year, the first such limit put on the world's largest coal-fired power station. With such drastic reduction, some observers are anxious about the impact on Taiwan's power supply. Tai Power will carry out a nationwide redistribution of power sources. For example, these cuts can be gradually compensated for by Daling and Tongxiao power plants. This is the first conditional license extension since Tai Power's Taichung power plant was built 30 years ago. I believe this policy is what society has been wishing for. With this license renewal, Taichung has finally put its foot down about fossil fuel emissions. The power plant's application was initially rejected after its submission on November the 6th. But by offering more documentation and agreeing to comply with some of the city's conditions intended to improve air quality, the plant has once more got the go-ahead to keep on burning coal for years to come.